Hey, it's Dr. Toby. I want to show you in this video how you can crucify your sweet tooth or an addiction to food. And it's in three simple, easy steps that you need to do. The first step is the first C. I call it the three C's to crucifying your cravings or addictions to sugar or to food. C number one is you have to determine the convenience that your sweet tooth or your food addiction provides to you. Most people never take the time to really think, so that's why they can't be transformed. If you actually begin to think, what convenience does this addiction provide to me? Is it when I'm stressed? that I fall back on this convenient sweet addiction or this comfort food addiction, whatever the addiction might be or the craving that you find yourself struggling with, determine what convenience is it providing to your life? How is it actually helping you cope through something or get through a particular aspect of your day? Maybe it's just after you're exhausted and you want to rest after work. Maybe it's not because you're stressed, but you just want some comfort. Or maybe it's when you actually feel like you just, you know, have eaten, but you want a little something to kind of, you know, put the icing on the cake. What is the convenience that that food or that snack or treat is providing to you. The number two, you have to determine what is the cost that is costing you to eat that snack or continue to engage in that addiction. Now, understand this. A lot of people may not call addictions to food strong addictions or may they may feel like that's a strong of a word, but one of the things you have to realize is that it's costing you something to engage and to indulge. And what are the areas of your life that you're not happy with or satisfied about that's directly related to that particular addiction, to that particular craving? And once you can make that clear connection, because oftentimes we have a rough idea or a gray, fuzzy idea that, yeah, you know, maybe if I stopped eating sweets or maybe if I stopped eating, you know, or being addicted to rice or to pasta, then I would probably, you know, uh, not have the, you know, excess belly fat or have this or that, right? But make that clear connection and understand what it's actually costing you. And once you make that clear connection, then the next thing that you're going to be able to do is you're going to be able to consider and to evaluate if the co convenience that it provides to you is worth the cost of what's being lost in your life. So you have to consider, you have to actually think about it. Do I really value the thing that I'm losing out on, the thing that it's costing me to enjoy this convenience? And once you've done that, this is going to help you to break that craving because what you can do is you can simply, before you try to remove the thing that you're craving, replace it with something else that can help provide that same level of convenience to you. So before you try to lay off the snacks and the cookies and the chips or the pasta or the rice, find something that you're going to replace it with before you remove that from your life. Before you abstain from something, find something that you're going to adopt in order to replace that thing with. It's a super helpful strategy that makes a very big world of a difference. And if you start doing that, it's going to cause you to skyrocket in your success, your discipline, and in your self-control. And go ahead and leave a comment in this video. What was most helpful in this video for you? Leave a like and also leave a subscription. Subscribe to our channel so that you can stay up to date on all the videos that we make to help you stay healthy, pain-free, fit, and mobile. And I'll see you in the next video.